Alpine's new management changes have left a big gap to fill, but finding the right person to lead their Formula One team is a tough task. Alpine is going through a tough time and needs an experienced leader to guide and improve the team. They need someone who can handle a big team, deal with board decisions, and manage competing drivers. Mattia Binotto, who led Ferrari before, could be the one to help Alpine. What do you think? Is Binotto the right fit for Alpine? So hold on, in today's video we are going to uncover the rumor of Mattia Binotto joining Alpine right after the summer break. Alpine recently made some big changes to its leadership team. They said goodbye to three important people. Otmar Schaffnauer, Alan Permain and Pat Fry. These changes happened after the team got a lot of money from investors, including Ryan Reynolds, a famous actor. Alpine has been going through a lot of changes in the past few years. Many important people have left the team, like Cyril Abitabul, Marcin Budkowski, Nick Chester, Bob Bell, Peter Matchen, Remy Taffin, and Alain Prost. Even David Brevo, who was in charge of racing, didn't stay for long. Because of all these changes, Alpine is having a hard time. They haven't been doing well in races, coming in sixth place in 2021 and 2022. And now, with Fernando Alonso leaving, they need to figure out how to get better. So, who's going to step into the shoes of Schiffnauer, Permain, and Fry at Alpine? The team wants to find experienced people who can help them succeed, but with all these comings and goings, can Alpine find the stability they need to make a comeback? Well, Mattia Binotto, who spotted in Belgium at Spa Franker Champs recently, he was there to observe the Pirelli tire tests. Binotto is expected to join Alpine as their new team principal in September 2023, so his presence at the Pirelli tests was seen as a sign that he is already starting to get involved in the team. Binotto is a highly respected figure in Formula One, and his appointment as Alpine's team principal is seen as a major coup for the team. Binotto is a great fit for this job because he has a lot of experience and qualifications. He worked at Ferrari, where he did different important jobs like overseeing the engines, being in charge of the technical aspects, and leading the whole team. He knows a lot about designing race cars and managing a Formula One team that makes both engines and chassis. One of the important things he's good at is dealing with the politics in the racing world. He's been dealing with the political stuff at Ferrari since 1995. He knows how to handle a board of people who want a lot of control and make sure they're happy while still doing his job well. Even though Ferrari let him go in 2022 after the team didn't do as well as expected, it's not clear that he was the main problem. When you look at how the team performed under a different leader, Fred Vasseur, for part of a season, it suggests that Binotto might not have been the main issue. Addressing the situation, Formula One legend Martin Brundle has mentioned that he's heard the rumor and even suggested that Binotto could be a likely candidate for the role. Brundle's opinion is that it wouldn't be astonishing if Binotto ends up getting the job. He stated, Binotto has got a lot of experience, obviously, in the Ferrari system and knows about running a Formula One team. Obviously, it didn't work out for him at Ferrari, otherwise he'd still be there, but... I wouldn't be surprised if that was announced. After Ferrari let him go in 2022, Audi wanted to hire Matteo Binotto. He visited their Nürburgring base, but he wasn't impressed and even called their managers clowns. However, Alpine has convinced Binotto with their plans and he's now ready to sign with them. Ferrari paid him $3 million for doing nothing this year. Because of this deal, he cannot join another team until next year without getting into legal troubles with Ferrari. When experienced engineers like Binotto are given time off, it's to make sure they don't share important secrets from their old team with a new one. After a while, the information becomes outdated and not useful for the new team, but sometimes, if their old bosses agree, they can join another team. So, could this be what might go down if Binotto decides to join Alpine? French media and Italian journalist Leo Torini are saying that former Ferrari leader Binotto might be offered a job by Alpine. They reported that he got an offer from Renault's CEO, Luca De Meo, who owns Alpine. In France, they're saying Binotto has already reached an agreement with Alpine. Torino wrote in his Quotidiano Nazionale column, I'm writing about it because it does not surprise me. There is no doubt that he is smart. If in Luca De Meo he finds a mentor and he learns to listen to others, he is able to achieve great success. Torini added, if Binotto ends up joining Alpine after the summer break, he's in for quite a challenge. Alpine hasn't really met the super high hopes of the big boss, Luca De Mio. Last year, the French team came fourth, and De Mio thought they'd do just as well this year and close the gap to the super fast teams like Red Bull, Mercedes, and Ferrari, but 
Right from the start, things didn't look great. They slipped back to 6th place in the team rankings, getting passed by Aston Martin and McLaren. Mistakes kept happening, the cars weren't always reliable, and they didn't improve as much as they wanted. Now, here's the fun part. Bonato might be the hero they need, especially with the engines. How cool would that be? The Renault E-Tech RE23 seems to be a bit behind the competition, maybe even missing around 30 brake horsepower. That's like having a slower engine, so... The team wants things to be fair and is asking for all power units to be on the same level. Bonato's plan is to talk to the other team bosses and convince them to let his crew upgrade their engine to catch up with the top three. To make his case, they'll need to share a bunch of data to show how much they're lagging behind and prove they're not sneaking in extra power. But here's the twist. Right now, they can't really make big changes to the engine, just small ones to keep it reliable. This engine issue is causing them trouble on the track too. On some circuits, they're losing about 0.3 seconds per lap, which can feel like forever in racing. At places like Silverstone, it's even worse, adding up to 0.4 seconds. And at the Hunger O-Ring, a slower track, it's a bit better around 0.1 seconds. But wait, there's more! The slow engine is messing up other things too. The car's chassis, the body of the car, isn't performing as well as the big bosses hoped. They're like, come on guys, pick up the pace! For instance, on one part of the track at Spa, their car is a whole second slower than the best lap. Now, Demio isn't too thrilled about all this. He's not buying the excuses from the higher-ups about why the team is struggling. He's dreaming big for the team's future. High aim, right? Demio thinks the team could become like the French version of Ferrari. He says in France, people aren't as excited about Formula 1 because they don't have a special team like Italy's Ferrari. He used an example from his past at Fiat to explain his plan. He wants Alpine's colors to make people feel passionate, like they did with the Fiat 500. In media briefing, he said, Alpine Formula 1 team will become the French Ferrari. In France, there still isn't enough passion for the world of motorsport. This is because the fans don't have a team to support, as Italy has with Ferrari. We want to combine the history of our team with its colors so that fans can be more engaged. He added, our goal is to link Alpine's colors with feelings of passion, as we did with the Fiat 500 at the time. The idea is to tie history to these colors and thus create commitment. If Binotto joins Alpine, there will be high expectations for him. Since he's been at Ferrari, he knows how to handle that pressure. He could be the key to turning Alpine's luck around. What do you think? Can Binotto make Alpine better or is the team already too far gone? Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to watch next update on F1.